Did you know that mixing music is not just about technical skills, but it's also about psychology? Yes, that's right. Our brains perceive and interpret sounds in fascinating ways, and understanding these principles can significantly impact your mixes. So put on your psychologist hat, we're about to dive into the depths of audio perception. And don't worry, there won't be any ink block tests or Freudian slips in this session. Well, except for that last one. Let's start with the first fascinating principle of audio psychology. You've probably heard that louder is better, but do you know why? Our brains often perceive louder sounds as more exciting, and this can influence our mix decisions. This is why gain staging and proper use of limiters is so crucial. And it's not just about the volume fader. EQ decisions can also impact perceived loudness. Boosting certain frequencies can make elements of your mix stand out more, even without increasing their volume. Let's use JST EQ to manipulate frequencies for perceived loudness. First, we're focusing on the low end. We'll cut some of the muddiness to make our mix clearer. Notice how the mix instantly feels cleaner, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to boost the high mid slightly. This brings out the presence and adds to that perceived loudness. And there you have it. By just manipulating frequencies with EQ, we've made our mix sound louder without actually increasing the volume. This is the power of EQ in achieving perceived loudness. It's all about balance and clarity. Now that we've mastered the loudness game, let's dive into another key aspect of audio psychology, stereo imaging. And no, we're not talking about those old 3D Viewmaster toys. Our ears can locate sounds in space thanks to our brain's ability to interpret slight differences in time and intensity between both ears. By manipulating these differences, we can create a sense of width and depth in our mixes. So I'm gonna use Sidewidener 2 to demonstrate this. We'll start by dialing the width control to 50% to give our track a moderate widening effect. Can you hear how the track fills out the stereo field? Now let's push it a bit further, we'll set the width to 75% for an even wider sound. And there you have it, the track is more wide, giving it that larger than life feel within the mix. This plugin is perfect for this because of its mono compatibility, which ensures that stereo recordings still sound good when played back in mono. The Sidewidener 2 plugin excels in this by creating a wider stereo image that retains its integrity, free from phase cancellation issues, even when played in mono environments. But be careful, too much widening can lead to a mix that sounds unnatural or even uncomfortable on headphones. And it's all about finding the right balance. By the way, we're curious to know, what is your go-to technique for adding depth to your mixes? Share it with us in the comments below. Frequency balance isn't just about clarity and space. It can also shape the emotional response to your music. For instance, a mix heavy on low frequencies might feel more powerful or foreboding, while a brighter mix might come across as more energetic or cheerful. Let's take this track and see how different EQ settings can evoke different moods. First, let's warm it up by boosting the low mids. Waste of my time, cause I say too much and I feel too little. Life just feels like a messed up riddle. Tell me how I Notice how it makes the track feel more intimate. Now, if we carve out some of the mids and boost the highs, it gives the track an airy, open vibe. I try my best, do I survive? What's the point of holding on? 
What if we want to make it sound more foreboding? Let's try reducing the highs and boosting the lows for a darker, more ominous sound. Waste of my time, cause I say too much and I feel too little. Life just feels like a messed up riddle. Tell me how I ended up this brittle. Does anybody know why? If I try my best, do I survive? What's the point of hope? Now let's go for a vintage feel by rolling off some highs. Listen how it instantly takes us back in time. Waste of my time, cause I say too much and I feel too little. Life just feels like a messed up riddle. Tell me how I ended up this brittle. Does anybody know why? If I try my best, do I survive? What's the point of holding on? And there you have it. EQ can easily shape the mood of your track in a heartbeat. Of course, the emotional impact of EQ will depend on the music itself and the listener's personal experiences. That's why it's so important to know your target audience and what kind of emotional response that you want to elicit. So we've delved into the loudness perception, the psychoacoustics of stereo imaging, and how EQ can hit you right in the feels. It's a lot to process, so let's take a moment to, well, process it. Okay, let's take a moment to wrap our heads around what we just learned. First, we've unpacked the concept of loudness perception, discussing how we all don't hear frequencies in the same way. We've shown how small changes in volume can have a big impact on our perception of a mix. Remember, louder is not always better. It's just louder. Next, we explored the psychoacoustics of stereo imaging. We've shown how using a plugin like Sidewinder 2 can help create a wider, more immersive sound and can draw listeners in. Remember, it's all about creating a 3D soundscape for your audience. And lastly, we discussed the emotional impact of EQ. We've discovered how tweaking the frequency balance can elicit different emotional responses from your listeners. Whether you're aiming for a powerful, energetic, or more somber tone, EQ is going to be your go-to tool. Now, I know we've given you a lot to think about, but if you're serious about mastering the psychology of mixing, we have something that might interest you. The plugins used in this video today are Sidewinder 2, JST EQ, and JST Maximizer, which are available on our website right now. Not only are they great tools for your mixing toolbox, but they're also designed to help you dive deeper into these advanced mixing concepts. Check out the link in the description below or visit joysturgistones.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links in the description below and tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Until next time, happy mixing.